Hi, thanks for joining in. I'm uh, having a big canvas ready. It's 80 centimeter round canvas, um, 31 inches. And I'm going to layer up my cup, very big cup. I've got, I need about um, a little bit more than one liter of thick paints to cover this. So I'm going to layer my cup um, and then give you a close up of my uh, pouring. And um, when I'm going to spin this round and expand the paint to the sides, I'm going to give you an uh, overall look. So first I'm going to layer up my cup. I've got a lot of custom colors that I'm going to use and I'm going to start with titanium white. This is just titanium white. This is probably my only color that isn't custom. I'm going to add gold and I want to have that gold a little bit lightened up in the center when I pour. I'm make sure that <laughs> I'm in focus. Then I'm going to use um, a lovely color Prussian blue with uh, pearl white and even a little bit of ultramarine blue. Um, you can find all the recipes, the colors in the description box. I uh, wrote down the exact uh, mix of paint so you can watch it over there. So my very nice Prussian blue mix like that. Then my copper sienna mix. I'm going to layer the colors on top of each other. They are thick enough to lay on top of each other. Then I've got a custom titanium buff light mix mixture. Like that. Then I have a dark green mixture. A turquoise blue mixture. going to add a little bit of white and again gold So I will keep layering like this until my cup is full and then I'm going to pour some turquoise. I'm going to save the last bit of paint in small containers so when this pour is done I've got a little bit of color uh, to do some touch-ups.
so I'm going to um, swing you over to my round canvas for a closer look while I'm pouring. I forgot a little bit of white left. I'm going to pour that in the middle. To start with. And I also have some flow extender from a previous pour that I did. And I scraped the floor because I am on my floor for this big piece. And it is a lovely green, olive green color. So my puddle to start with. And I see some air bubbles, I'm going to give it a quick torch. And then I'm going to start, let me see if you... So I'm going to get my full cup of paint and just going to start in the middle. My knee is in the way. <laughs> I want to turn my canvas a little bit round. So here we go. Oh, those colors are gorgeous together. And here is the white with the gold coming out. Going slowly when I'm almost near the bottom. Make sure that I don't drip. Like that. Oh, that's nice. That's so, so nice. Oh, the colors. They are candy to my eyes. So, so pretty. I am going to use my torch to pop some air bubbles before I'm starting tilting. Even though I mixed my paints days, days ago and I put them on the washing machine, <laughs> hopefully the air bubbles going out, but they're not all out and I think I've got a little something just next to the center in here. But first I'm going to add a little bit of the flow extender. It is so, so pretty. Hopefully it will spin out nice and beautiful. I'm just going to use a, a large palette knife to cover all my bare canvas. I've got a lot of paint pooling in the middle. So I'm going to make sure it really stretch out to the sides. But I am in love with these colors. This is a piece that is going to, oh, I have to that's 
is for an exhibition in January and February. Let me see if I can spin. Okay, so. Um, so I really wanted to pick some colors that represent the dark periods um, of January and February. So, um, the paint is more in here, so I'm going to um, tilt it a little bit that way. And first going to start with a slow spin, just starting slowly. My round canvas is on a rectangular canvas right now, my spinner on the floor. And I have to stop it. I can see that the paint is already expanding this way um, pretty fast. So I have to make sure. Oh, I like the middle. I like, 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 like it. Oh, the colors are so, so pretty. And the fingerlings, ooh, it's opening up very pretty, I think. So here we go again. I don't mind that there is a wavy line around this. I have to say I, I like it. So let's see what that is going supposed to be. Just adding a little bit more flow extender because I don't want her to fight. I want her to flow easily. So. Beautiful, the cars are fab. This is not a color combination that I do very often, but I shoot. I really shoot. Beautiful. I like the gold and the uh, burnt sienna mix I'm blending over here together. I think the amount of paint is already over there, so let's see how that will go, maybe a slight I can see I'm over the sides here, I reached the side almost reach the side here and this is going well too do I need a little bit more flow extender and I'm going to give it a spin first so now it's getting messy <laughs> the paint is on the floor but my floor is covered in plastic and I'm going to collect the paint when I'm done and last time I did that I've got a pretty full batch of paints that I can use for another project is so that is just fine and now I'm over the side here a little bit I'm going to get it a little bit more over there maybe a little turn it around if I can I couldn't be happier about 
about this in this stadium of my poor because I'm not ready yet and please I'm not going to drop anything in here make a mess screw it up I'm not I'm not going to do that hopefully <laughs> I'm going to tilt it a little bit towards there I envisioned that I would have the gold and white blend in the center of this piece but it is not in the center right now but it's not bothering me at all because there is so much to see in this piece so let me spin it let's get over the sides everywhere and get a good coverage almost almost here tiny tiny bit of the flow extender so and then i have to make sure that there is not too much paint left on my canvas because i really don't want it to crackle I'm going to try, not dripping here, to get that white and gold a little bit more towards the center. Just trying. Let me see if I've got enough paint to do that a little bit. I'm lifting my uh, rectangular canvas and my spinner to see if I can make it a little bit towards that. I don't know if you've seen this piece of my canvas, it's still covered in plastic. I'm going to scrape that colors, but it's an artwork by itself, right? Let me see if it's in... Oh, you can't, I can't see it. <laughs> Here! Do you see? So pretty. Oh, I'm so happy with this piece. I don't think I want to do anything about it right now I like the, the dark turquoise the blues blending here with the lighter colors with the greens it's very very pretty a lot of details to see even when it looks all the same color all those ripples in here so so pretty I love the green blending here with the lighter colors, the darker colors, the fingerlings are so, so pretty. And I really love the white and gold. I expected that there was a less white visible, but there is more white now than I expected and I envisioned, but I like it. It's not bothering me. It's blending here with some lines. Very pretty in the piece. The bit that I, um, I'm not in love with is this piece, but I'm not going to spin it any further because I'm going to lose a lot of the other things. Does this bother me? I don't think so. I don't think so. And I really don't want to spin anymore. I don't want to lose any paint or any of my composition. So hopefully there is not too much paint on here anymore and it will dry 
very very beautiful so the thing that i have to do is torch i am going to torch and of course collecting all my yummy drips from my plastic from the rectangular canvas but first using my torch to pop the air bubbles using some heat helps to disappear all of the air bubbles so i can see i've got a tiny something in my paints but i'm not sure if i want to get it out beautiful it really is candy to my eyes i hope you like it too what do you think about this color combination what do you think about this color palette and i'm going to ensure you this is going to shine because i've used a metallic in my turquoise in my blue um, and the gold of course and um, burnt sienna with copper also and there is also a little bit of metallic in my titanium buff light so this is going to shine so i'm going to make sure that my drips are removed from my sides um, that I'm going to put this in a safe place to let it dry it will take a while to for this piece to completely dry before I can varnish it and then it will be ready in time for the exhibition on January the 13th so okay removing the drips let them fall on the floor with the rest of the paints on the plastic and I'm going to collect that. I never throw away paint, you know that when you're already a subscriber and a follower, follower of mine. I don't know if you also follow me on Instagram and Facebook because then you know that I already tried um, one of um, an, an 80 centimeter round canvas with which I was not happy so this is my second attempt so if you follow me on Instagram and Facebook I will put um, a lot of extras in my stories and pictures of my artworks that I make here in this videos the end results you can find a lot over there so in the description box I don't only have my recipes, my colors, extra information but also my um, Instagram and Facebook page. Here is a close up. I forgot to give you a close up yesterday. So this painting is drying for one day, but just dried a, a little tiny bit at the sides. I really like the ripples of this turquoise and dark blue. Those lines, so so pretty, of the colors that are blend. Really like the dark blue. I told you that the first piece that I did was a failure, but my blue was a little bit lighter, so I got a chance for my second one to darken it a little bit up, even. Um, also the turquoise, I darkened up the turquoise. So, so pretty. Look at that gold, probably with the white mixed between those, those darker lines. So, so nice. And I told you about the white and gold 
from the bottom from my cup so pretty I hope you like this video please give me a thumbs up if you like this and if and if you haven't subscribed please do so it is free and if you hit the bell you will be notified every time that i upload a new video so this is going to dry for a couple of more days and i'm not in a hurry because the exhibition is in january so i've got time enough um, and first we're going to celebrate the festive days the holidays the Christmas days with my family so this will stay just here and have time to dry see you next time bye bye